Doris Burke kind enough to stick around late and Doris we just illustrated how after a really miserable shooting performance in the first 24 minutes that third quarter belonged to the road team. What was different in your estimation about what the Raptors were able to bring in terms of energy execution or whatever else. Well I thought in speaking to Nick Nurse at the half he said you know I was proud of our guys we stuck with it we had a lot of good shots he said I didn't think it was stellar offense but we kind of stuck with it made enough shots to keep ourselves attached so I think you could almost go back to the second quarter and you were just touching on Kyle Lowry and I thought Mark and Jeff were talking about this him making every right decision in the second half as good as Kawhi Leonard is forgive this expression it's the only thing I can think of Kyle still seems to me Scott to be the straw that stirs the drink for this group. Well he was fantastic in, in facilitating but Kawhi look this isn't new to him this stage these moments he's got it he's and, and he's and he's better now if, if anything the game seems to have slowed down you're there in the building T tell me what I didn't see that you're able to see because you're there what what is he giving us. Well I thought you could see it in the post game inter interview a little bit when I said you know how do you keep your balance between being productive and yet uh, absorbing all that pressure and he said I'm not playing hero basketball. There's a great equanimity about him right his meter doesn't run too hot it doesn't run too cold right. and Kyle Lowry told us early in the series Scott that they feed off of that. Hey listen they walked off the floor in game three there was no celebration there's a seriousness in demeanor and a belief that they can win this series. Last quick thought because I agree with you and yet you're going up against the championship pedigree the DNA the culture that we hear so much about what failed them tonight Doris. I'm going to be honest with you and this is just observationally from the sideline and I think our guys at the table did touch on this Golden State looks exhausted to me. I thought yep. Steph down the stretch of that game there were multiple times in transition defense where guys were walking up the floor they couldn't quite you know change ends as fast as they could. Listen this has been a long hard run over these five years and I feel like there's a little bit of wear and tear can they respond in game six like champs. Let's see or excuse me game five. Well Let's that's see. true I, I, I'm with you. Listen you could be the champ but there's only so many uh, punches you can absorb and this Toronto team they're the ones delivering the shots they're the ones delivering the punches and now they've got 48 minutes to, to, for a parade. And Scott I got to tell you something there is this incredible scene happening right now this this is a country so hungry and thirsty. There is an enormous group of Toronto Raptors fans. There's tons of signs. Wow. We the North. I mean it's it is such a compelling scene. I know they're going nuts back in Jurassic Park. Thirty seven million people in the country of Canada. Forget hockey town. We're talking about basketball Scott. Well that wow, that's let, let's be clear. We're looking inside Oracle, Oracle right now. That's not <laughs> Jurassic Park. That's Oracle. That's remarkable. And it is. It's one more win but they always say that's the toughest. Doris thank you. We'll talk again Monday all right.